wanted to do some type of video displays in here, and we figured it was projection. Um, and went through that whole process, um, and then we rented, uh, you know, projection and screen, and realized we really don't want to take this beautiful space and darken it to be able to see something. And so we started checking out different venues and different things to look at to determine what, 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 what's out there and what's the possibility. Well, LED was really the only technology that we could use in this particular application. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, two-thirds of this building is glass. Um, makes for a lot of sunlight coming in, which means if we were to use projectors to do this, we would need flamethrowers. And if we had flamethrowers, we were going to need icebergs to cool them off. We were that are really big fans. So that instantly meant that we were going to have a noise problem, and we are going to have a light problem. Those were the two big things. Um, projectors were out. They were just simply, we would need a 15,000 lumen projector. Two of them prohibitively expensive. Um, if we were to shoot them from the front, the um, the kind of uh, fans needed would make it so you couldn't even hear the choir. If we did rear projection, that would be prohibitively expensive. We would have to pull out a big chunk of block from the wall, and we would have to set those back, and we'd still need 15,000 million feet. We're still talking a pretty penny on projectors, and then we have bolts, which is a, which is a cost, which is not an, uh, an insignificant recurring cost. With these displays, um, we don't have the light problem because they're light emitters. They, each one is an individual. It's a bunch of flashlights sitting up there. Uh, and people can see them with direct sunlight directly on them. Full intensity sunlight. These can still break through that and still be visible. And look as if you are looking at a, a, a full, um, full contrast screen. Well, with projection, you need more space. Uh, you need either the behind or the in front. And for us, space is of a premium. And we wanted to make sure that whatever was put in here didn't detract from the worship that was happening, but only add to. Often when we've rented uh, projection either front or behind, it, it creates distraction. And in this case, with the, uh, with the uh, piece working the way it does and the technology working the way it does, uh, there's not a space issue and it doesn't create more distraction.